welcome to the oldest street in the Philippines, Colon Street, which was uh, uh, recorded as early as 15th century. Nanadaanan na to. Malapit lang to sa Parian. Malapit lang to sa Parian district yan. At this, this district, the oldest business district in the in the Philippines na ginagawang kalakalan. Ito yung Colon Street na to this day become the shortest natural, national road in the Philippines. There are some still old structures that you can see here but way back in the 15th century this is a very busy street sa mga Filipino noon na mga ngalakan. And again, kung kayo ay interesado, mahilig sa history, makikita nyo talaga yung length niya ay ganun pa rin sa ngayon kung based on the old photograph, surviving photograph na ganito pa rin ang length ng Colon Street even dating back way 1600 ito may mga marami pa rin mga lumang bahay Colon Street the oldest street in the Philippines and the shortest national road in the Philippines this is the second oldest house in the Philippines circa 1675 the Yap San Diego Ancestral House located in Parian District also the oldest district business district in the Philippines ito yung lugar na kung saan ang kauna-unahang kabesa di barangay ng Parian si Senior San Diego uh, Yap San Diego was lived here uh, lived here it is also one interesting note na dito rin nakatira din ako dito way back in the early 1970s no kasi yung isa sa mga uh, naging apo great grandchildren ni Cabeza San Diego Yap San Diego ay napangasawa ng kapatid ng papa ko dito inilagak yung mga marble dito sa bodega ginawa namin itong bodega ng mga marble itong area na to ginawa namin bodega ng mga marble at isa sa mga kwarto dyan ay kung saan ako natutulog during summer of 1973-74 every time we make a visit here in Cebu Dito kami nakatira. And now it is officially declared at, as the second oldest house, habitable house in the Philippines, the Yap San Diego Ancestral House that has become a museum, converted into a museum. Cathedral Museum, formerly known Bahay na Bato, which was built in 1902. Ito ay dating bahay ng mga pare at ginawang eskwelahan, a former campus of the University of San Carlos. Ito rin ay ginawang kumbento ng kathedral. At dito rin tumira yung mga pare noong una na nagsiservisyo sa Archdiocese ng Cathedral. Ito ay isang museum na ngayon at dito uh, nakadisplay yung mga gamit ng former Archbishop of Cebu Cardinal Vidal yung mga letters ni Saint John Paul II and uh, yung Mother Teresa, si Mother Teresa ng Calcutta, India. Yung mga gamit nila ay dito ginawang parang rep repository na mga gamitan nila 
na i-display dito. Kaya ang close lang to sa publiko ngayon. Ito'y malapit lang sa bahay ko. Ito yung bahay na bato na ngayon ay tinatawag na Cathedral Museum. After nearly two years of navigation, the fleet of Magellan arrived in the Philippines, in the Fili Philippine shore on March of 1521. At unang isla nilang nakita ay ang Samar Plate doon sa Limasawa where they held the first mass. Then the Dato of Limasawa advised Magellan na kung kailangan nilang mag-replenish ng kanilang mga gamitan, pumunta sila sa isla ng Subbo kasi during that era, during the time in 15th century, Cebu was an established route for business enterprise. It was a very flourishing mayaman na isla yun at ang pangangalakal, doon nangangalakal ang mga taong neighboring islands doon pumupunta sa Cebu para kunin ang mga pangangailangan nila at isang napakayamang lugar. Kaya sinabihan, sinamahan ng dato ng Leyte, Samar, si Magellan na pumunta dito sa Cebu at dito niya nakilala si Raja Humabon. And on April 12, 1521, Raja Humabon and his wife, Queen Juana, converted into Christianity and Magellan gifted when Queen Juana with the image of Senor Santo Nino, the Holy Child, and dito rin sa Magellan, dito rin itinanim at ibinaon ang huge wooden cross symbolizing the conversion of Cebuanos into Christianity that was in April 12, 1521, 500 years ago. Ngayon, may isang shrine commemorating that uh, event which was the birth of Christianity in the Philippines in 1521 at dito nyo makikita ang wooden cross sirado lang tayo ngayon ayan this is the wooden cross at nasa in case doon sa ilalim ay ang original wooden cross kasi inilaga ibin i, itinago doon is sealed na yung wooden cross kasi marami mga souvenir hunters hunters na kumukuha ng chips bu chip on those cro on those wooden cross kaya they opted na itago na lang yan yung naka may, may ano parang marble na signage doon doon sa ilalim doon na itinago ang wooden cross at Catholic faithfuls come here to pray nag-offer ng prayer nakikita niyo ng mga candles na yan ayan dito sila nag uh, nagdadasal to this wooden cross and to Senor Santo Nino because annex to this is the oldest church in the Philippines Santo Nino Church This is a very iconic structure. This symbolizes the birth of Christianity in the Philippines and also the most popular tourist destination when they visit the island of Cebu. The shrine of the wooden cross of given by Magellan to Datong Mabon and Queen Juana signaling the birth of the Christ, of Christianity way back in 1521, 500 years ago. And that is where the oldest church, Papasokin natin mamaya, is located. The Santo Nino Church. Okay, this is the seat of the government of the city of Cebu, where our uh, elected government official uh, do their duties. Ito ang city hall ng Cebu City. Cebu City 
is uh, the tourism capital of the Philippines and it is also the cabeza ng provincia ng Cebu the capital of the province of Cebu look at the moon yeah, it's full moon and I hope Cebu city will remain steadfast and resilient and bounce back and bounce back Nam, itong mga challenges na to ay dinadaanan lang natin and through our faith and prayers to Senor Santo Nino de Cebu we will recover this is the city hall of uh, Cebu City my second home my beloved Cebu The blue or sculpture now different images and history of Cebu dito nakikita sa parian yan uh, sculptures of different history depicting the history of Cebu at ito tong parian district na to is the oldest district in the Philippines become it became the business center of Cebu way back in 1500th century dahil dito they were cordoned here by the Spaniards by the Spanish the Chinese were cordoned here by the Spanish by the Spanish uh, government para hindi na sila pakalat-kalat kasi medyo nagalit yung gobyerno ng Spanyol dito sa mga Chinese yan, this is the Parian district nagalit sila kasi yung mga Filipino were trying to mimic no? ginagaya nila ang mga Chinese na hindi na sumisimba kung tuwing linggo at instead nagninegosyo na sila so nagalit yung mga Spanyol that one that area is Colon Street and this is the Parian District okay dito na ngayon dito the, the Chinese were cordoned here dito sila inilagak ng Spanish government at magnegosyo kaya karamihan sa mga old houses dito are owned by the Chinese people business Chinese people and ito ngayon ginawa na itong plaza, Parian Plaza depicting the tableau of the history of the Philippines and Cebu ito located in Parian District the oldest business district in the Philippines and that one you see that that's the second oldest house yung Galing Ocanina yung Yap San Diego Yap San Diego has a Chinese blood as well kaya dito sila gumawa ha nag build ng kanilang mga bahay kasi nga they were cordoned here by the Spanish government dito na sila mag negosyo at yung mga Filipino who were trying to imi imitate the entrepreneur skill of the Spaniards uh, of the Chinese dito na sila pupunta hindi na sila pupunta ng simbahan tuwing linggo dito na sila para magnegosyo okay that's a trivia and part of our Philippine history tingnan mo ang ganda-ganda talaga tingnan ng buwan it's full moon today ito naman ang Fort San Pedro known as the the smallest and the oldest fort fort in the Fili military fort in the Philippines erected in 1565 ito ang tinatawag na El Fuerte de la San Pedro na itinayo noong 1565 the fort of San Pedro described 
which in the official report of 1739 is a triangular shape and made of stone and mortar. The three bastion are the La Concepcion, San Ignacio de Loyola, and San Miguel. San Miguel Ponder Magazine. Ito ay ginawang military fort ng mga Spanyol under the initiative of Miguel Lopez de Legazpe para maproteksyonan ang sugbo sa mga pirata at mga invaders. Kasi noon, kasagsagan ng mga pirata na magkidnap ng mga native para gawing slave, ibenta na parang gawing slave sa mga neighboring islands like Indonesia, Malaysia, sa Sulu, sa Saba. Kaya nga, ito ay nilagay. And this area here is facing inland. Mamaya kasi it's triangular shape ito, pupuntahan natin yung kabila kung saan naman ito yung nakaharap sa dagat. Because Cebu is surrounded, is an island surrounded with body of waters. Kaya ito ang pinakamataas na structure built in 15th century para to oversee kung sino ang mga kalaban approaching the island. The Fort San Pedro is a triangular shaped fort, military fort, intended to protect the island of Cebu. Erected in 1565 upon the initiative of the leader Miguel Lopez de Legazpe. It's still here and one of the main tourist destinations in the city of Cebu being the oldest and the smallest military fort in the Philippines. This is Plaza Independencia, the biggest uh, uh, public park in Cebu, where most of uh, the people converge here to discuss issues related to governance, religion, and even meeting the avance here. It is beautifully uh, uh, maintained by Cebu uh, city government so that the people can stay here safely. Napakalawak po nito. And this is intended for family to gather every Sunday, occasion kada go. At the same time, gusto kang may, ma may malaya kang paraan na magpahayag ng iyong opinion to gather here about your uh, sentiment on the government, on religion, and pertinent matters that involve the city. At itong sarap naman ay ang the oldest military fort in the Philippines, the Fort San Pedro. Yeah. Ito, puntahan nyo to. When you are allowed to visit Cebu, ito ang isa sa mga destination na dapat puntahan kasi it is strategically located sa malapit sa port area and the adjacent tourist destination like Santo Nino Church, Colon Street, the oldest street, Parian District, the oldest business district, and of course, ito yung Fort San Pedro, the oldest military fort in the Philippines and this is Plaza Independencia where you can also see century old trees and this is the longest suspension state bridge in the Philippines Cebu Cordoba Link Expressway Good morning, good morning. A 30 billion pesos project of the Duterte government to connect Cebu.
mainland Cebu to neighboring island Papan alongside Lapu-Lapu City and municipality of Mordo. Yan. Ilang metro na lang. Malapit na siyang makonek, no? Nakikita nyo, look closely, malapit na. Slated to open before the year ends. And and that island is the municipality of Cordoba that one and Mactan Island it will, it will ease the traffic at the same time improve the infrastructure here in my city And this one is the first hotel in Cebu known as Shamrock Hotel and in 1902 until 1920s and became Compania Maritima the first shipping line at the same time a bodega here in Fort Area of Cebu now it is, has become an iconic structure no, the Compania Maritima closed down in the early 80s. Look closely, there you are. Malapit na, malapit ng matugtong ang third bridge in Cebu. So, what else? Can I say, I invite you to visit my lovely island of Cebu. Pag pwede nang pumasyal ng Cebu. When the pandemic, when we are allowed to travel in our beloved country. La, travel local, visit Cebu. I am blessed to live in Cebu, though it is my second home. But it is, it is my home of choice. I love the hospitality of Cebuanos, the creativity and the talent of Cebuanos, the resiliency of Cebuanos. And we are so blessed that we are being guided fervently by the Holy Infant, Senor Santo Nio de Cebu. So, I would like to invite all of you when we are all permitted to travel, travel local, visit Cebu. This is Mamita Lacuatsera on my YouTube channel. If you like the video, share and like the video. And thank you very much for all your support. Mabuhay ang subo. Mabuhay kitang Filipino. I love you all. Hello, good morning mga Kalakwatsera. I would like to invite all of you to subscribe to my Mamita Lakwatsera YouTube channel. If you like the video, share and like, hit the red bell button. And thank you very much because yesterday I was able to acquire a new iPhone. It's because of your subscription, of your support of the Mamita Lakwatsera YouTube channel. At the same time, if we are all allowed to travel, visit the island of Cebu. Travel local. Visit Cebu. Mayimbuntag Cebu. And I love you all. Okay.